What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back with another Tekken 8 video and of course this video is the obvious video and it's about Reyna. I know I had told y'all that I might do a video or I might not do a video but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give my thoughts on Reyna. When I seen the trailer, the trailer was actually pretty good. The trailer was actually pretty good. Way better than that stupid ass trailer that they shown with Victor. Victor's trailer was totally trash but this trailer was cool. Um... First of all, I apologize if this video comes off a little sloppy, but please don't blame me. Blame Japanese Jesus Harada for trolling the whole fucking world all night, making us wait six hours to show this damn character when we already knew it was going to come out. So please blame the Japanese Jesus Harada for this. So like I said, this video is going to be a little bit sloppy. But I'm just going to give my thoughts on what I've seen about Reyna. And I was actually pretty... uh What's the word? I was pretty, I guess you could say I was impressed. The reason that I was impressed was because she is not, uh, she's not a, a Janet Cage type of motherfucker. So, you know, she's actually her own character. She has a, she has a lot of things that she does herself. You know, I did see some electrics here and there, but that was to be expected. But other than that, there was a lot of differences here with this character. And that's what kind of impressed me the most. It wasn't no, uh, uh, she wasn't no carbon copy of anybody. It wasn't no duplicate clone, no palette swap type of character. She actually got her own thing going on. And that's what impressed me the most about her. Uh, will I be using her? No, I am not a Mishima user and never will I be. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't fuck with the Mishimas like that. So the reason for it is because they just some overpowered ass characters. So I'd stay away from the Mishimas. I wouldn't use her. But as far as being an addition, uh, I don't have no problem with her being an addition. Because like I said before, I thought she was just going to be one of those cardboard type of characters pasted onto Tekken 8. But it doesn't look like that's the case. She actually looks like she has some fun shit going on, to be quite honest with you. A couple of her moves that I was looking at. She, uh, it did kind of look like she got a couple of Julia Chang's moves. I don't want to sit here and say Julia is deconfirmed, but she did have a couple of moves that kind of was similar to that of Julia Chang. So for those of y'all that are waiting on Julia Chang, I ain't going to say she's deconfirmed, but she had a couple of moves that kind of, uh, favored Julia a little bit. So, uh, I really don't know if that means a deconfirmation, but you know how people are when it comes to the Tekken community. They see a character that got a move. They be like, oh, such and such deconfirmed. But I'm just saying she does have a couple of moves that are similar to that of Julia Chang. That's all I'm saying. But uh, other than that, she looks pretty balanced. Um, I really don't got too much to say. Uh, they really didn't give us any kind of story hints. All it just had, it just had Jin Kazuya talking about, oh, who the hell are you? And anyway, all that and so i don't know it, i guess it's i guess it's gonna be some type of story thing um i don't know if she's going to have a big big influence in the story i think she's just gonna be a character that's just gonna be kind of there she's gonna be introduced to us in a big way but i don't think she's gonna have that much of a big uh big role in the story i think she's a character that they're probably going to uh kind of hold her back until the next Tekken game or wait until the final battle between Jin and Kazuya is ended or something like that. But I seriously doubt she's going to have a big role in the story. I think the character, she's going to show up here and there, but I don't think she's going to have a big role. So remember when I said in the last video, I just didn't want her to be that character to butcher the story. I don't think she's going to butcher the story. I think she's a character. They're going to kind of gel her in very slowly. That's my uh, my prediction. And like I said before, she doesn't look overpowered. She looks very basic. And uh, her rage art actually looks pretty cool, too. So, uh, you know what? Uh, you know, would have been really cool with this character if if she, if she was just not a Mishima, she would be a she. I would give this character a nine out of ten. But since they put a Mishima name on it, I would give her an eight out of ten. She'd be a she'd be a hard ass character if she was not a Mishima, but they wanted to put the Mishima name on her, so you know that's on Namco. But uh, like I said, man, uh, 
this uh this trailer kind of surprised me i know y'all was probably waiting on me to come on here and super rant about what was going on about her but i'm one of those motherfuckers i keep telling y'all if i see bullshit i'm gonna call bullshit but if i see things that are considerable i'm gonna call that out too and to be quite honest with you this character did not have any type of real bullshit going on with her like victor does so like i said you know, I didn't see no bullshit, so therefore ain't no bullshit to really call out when it comes to this character. I know I probably surprised a lot of y'all. Y'all's probably like, oh, well, you know, he's not complaining. Uh, you know, hey, ain't no bullshit with this character. So that's what kind of surprised me. So I thought Namco was going to throw us some fucking breaded crumbs. You feel what I'm saying? But they didn't do that. But at the same time, like I said, I'm not going to use this character. This character is not going to be in my rotation. No way, no how. And to a certain extent, I don't really still too much care for her. But I'm just saying she is a character. She is impressive. Uh, she ain't got no unga bonga type shit going on. And, you know, she's cool. You know, I'm cool with her being in the base roster. There ain't really nothing nobody can do about it. No way. So it's all good when it comes to this character. Like I said, she's probably a character like uh, I will probably go to the training mode and figure out her strengths and weaknesses and shit like that. But other than that, I wouldn't use her. I just would not use her. Um, like I said, not too much else to say or not too much else to add on. Um, I do want to say about her gameplay, like overall, uh, she do look like she got a little bit of Aikido shit going on, even though, you know, they say that Nina Williams is kind of like an Aikido character, but, you know, that shit that Nina Williams got going on, that shit is old and stupid. It looked like she had some parries going on, kind of like she had some real Aikido shit going on. I really don't know for sure. It's one of those things you have to go to the training mode and really kind of find out. So, uh, like I said, uh, with this character here, I would give her an 8 out of 10. Uh, the reason why I give her an 8 out of 10 because Namco actually tried to make her as original as possible. Now, she's not totally original. She does kind of have some moves from other characters, but what Tekken character don't? You feel what I'm saying? So, it's just the Bandai Namco way at this point. So, uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about Reyna, about the trailer and what they showed. How would y'all grade her? Would y'all put her in y'all rotation? Put y'all comments in the comment section and we can get a conversation started. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 and Tekken 7 action on the internet, period. And like I said before, ain't nobody doing it like I'm doing it when it comes to this Tekken shit. And that is facts. I got about one fucking hour to get some fucking sleep because Harada's ass want to fucking troll the world and make us wait that whole fucking day for this damn trailer. And motherfuckers didn't get no fucking sleep. Now, I'm telling you, man, Harada, I'm going to break his glasses, man. I'm going to break his fucking glasses for this. Making me miss sleep like this for real. But like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. I will get back to y'all in the next video. I am out. Peace.